was looking at the moon the other night, and I was wondering why it had different shapes. The different shapes are called the phases of the moon. Step over here and I'll show you what I mean. What do you do with the lamp? The lamp represents the sun. Think of this ball as the moon, and you're the earth. Okay. Now hold the ball in front of you and towards the sun. What do you see there? The side that I'm looking at is dark. That's right. That's called the new moon phase. Now turn to the left a quarter turn and keep holding the moon in front of you and tell me what you see. Now half the side that I'm facing is lit. That's called first quarter. Keep going. Okay, now the whole thing is lit. This must be a full moon. Keep going. Now only half is lit, but it's the other side. Yes, that's called the moon's third quarter phase. Okay, I get it. So the phases of the moon are created when the moon revolves around the Earth. The same side of the moon is always facing the Earth, and as it revolves around the Earth, different portions of the surface are illuminated by the sun. Those are the lunar phases. Why do we only see one side of the moon? The moon rotates on its axis once every 27.3 days. It turns out it's also 27.3 days that it takes to revolve around the Earth. That's why the same side of the moon is always facing the Earth. How old is the moon? The moon is a lot older than you and me, about four and a half billion years, roughly the age of the Earth. But that's where the similarities end. What do you mean? Well, there's no atmosphere on the moon, and the gravity is much less. It's only about one-sixth the gravity of the Earth at the surface of the moon. So if I weigh 90 pounds on the Earth, then I would weigh 15 pounds on the moon. Cool. That's right. And uh, the surface of the moon is very different, too. So what are those big circles that I see when I look at the moon? Those circles are craters from the meteors and the asteroids that have impacted on the moon over the years. There's no water or weather erosion to help get rid of them, so they're all still there. So what's the surface like? The surface is generally gray in color and sandy. It feels very much like this concoction. It feels like dust. You're right. There was a real concern early in the moon program that it might be like quicksand and the astronauts could sink in it. But of course, that did not happen. Good thing they didn't. Does the moon affect the Earth at all? Oh, yes. The moon affects the tides. And if we were on the beach... How did that happen? I don't even want to ask. The moon's gravitational pull depends on the distance. It's greater on the oceans, closest to the moon, than on the center of the Earth. This tends to pull the oceans into a big bulge. Anything else? Actually, the moon is increasing the length of our day by 0 .0016 seconds every century. We can measure that? Wow, I'm impressed. How does it lengthen the day? The Earth's tides act like a brake to gradually reduce the speed of the Earth's rotation. That's so interesting. Thanks, Mr. Pryor. You've given me a lot of useful information. Now I wonder how we're going to get back to the museum.